because I did not want to, to have any inflammatory molecule. I, my goal was to make therapeutic protein coding RNA. And um, so then we started to think together why the RNA I am making is different than what is inside the cell or, or not different at all. The reason why it's so inflammatory is because we are putting from outside to uh, immune cells. And this RNA is not supposed to be outside, you know, outside the cell. And yes. so that suggested the idea that, oh, we should test out. We should isolate RNA from our human cells and, and see that when we put on this uh, special immune cells, human identity cells, whether they respond the same way when we put our in vitro made, the RNA made in the tube. And um, we never thought that we will identify something is not immunogenic. We, at that point, we thought that maybe we expected that all of them will activate and generate immune response and uh, isolated, you know, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA, bacteria, different bacterial RNA, and then we just put on the cells. And then we found that uh, this uh, transfer RNA did not induce any immune response. And that made us thought that, could it be that uh, this uh, transfer RNA, which is very well known, contains the most uh, modified nucleosides, maybe that makes them non-immunogenic. So that that was the thought generated. And of course, the next question immediately was, how the hell we will prove that? How we will make uh, uh, RNA containing nucleoside modification? This immune response, where it is coming from? Mm -hmm. we, we didn't set out a goal to make a non-immunogenic RNA. We had no idea that we can, there is such such thing exists. Uh -huh. We just want to understand that is it the RNA I make synthetically? Is any different what is inside the cell? And the way to prove that, to isolate out from the cell, make one in the tube, put on the cell and see that, did they respond the same way? And of course we found that most of the RNA did induce the immune response. Our RNA, of course, we, in our body, our RNA inside the cell. But when you have an injury, it comes out. You also get inflammatory reaction from that. 